What is good internet? It is Spirit of Paradox here and welcome back to another video. And today we are going to be doing the final chapter of The Dark Ultimate. Or the official title, Ultimate Comet, The Ultimate, Issue 30. And this is the beginning of the end of the Ultimate Universe. So this is the first stepping stone towards Secret Wars 2015. And this is basically the Ultimate Universe's character's perspective on figuring that out. So this has a lot of good action, a lot of stuff happens in this issue. So make sure you got yourself a drink and some food because this issue is a banger people. But before we start, if you guys are fans of the Ultimate Universe or Ultimate Invasion, I covered Ultimate Universe on the channel. I do breakdowns and I'm also covering Ultimate Invasion as well, where I give my theories on what's going on potentially and so on and so forth. But enough of all the talking, let's start the climactic ending of the Dark Ultimates. We begin with Ultimate Kang one week after Ultimatum and she says, I know this is hard to believe but I also know you will at least listen. I'm from the future Reed, I've seen what's coming and I know that if things don't go differently this universe will die. It's worse than your theories, it's coming now, a cataclysm. This only this suit kept me shielded as you pushed me through time. This suit you built for me. Your last act. Your last desperate act was to send me back here to talk to you now. To start this earlier before it's too late. Reed Richards, you're the only hope for all of existence. I need you to be the man that I fell in love with. Reed tells her. You broke up with me. That part needed to happen. You and I analysed the time stream. We found the moment that everything goes wrong. And it's soon. Right. I understand, but you already broke up with me. Read. Seriously. Apocalypse talk takes precedence. I know. I'm saying we're already going down this path. Kang tries to reassure Reed and says, There's something that could help us though. An energy source in the form of gems. They appear in every other layer of reality that we've explored. But by our estimates, they're going to be thousands of years late. Don't touch me, says Reed. I've done this before. Parallel Earths, time travel, I can't help you. And then Kang says, fine, I'll show you, as she tries to show Reed a vision of what's to come. Kang shows Reed a dimension of nothingness, of showing what happens when a universe dies. And he says, there's nothing. It was consumed, all of it. I escaped as the last star died. What could possibly... The walls came down and the universe cr itself crumbled. Reed says, I'm sorry Susan, but I just don't believe you. I just can't believe. And she says, that's why I love you, Reed. You're too smart for your own good. But we're going to do terrible things, Reed, but we'll save everything. As she goes up to him and then kisses him. In the next page, we go back to where the last issue ended, and that's when Ultimate Kang made her appearance to the heroes. But Susan Storm says, How? I'm you from the future, Sue. Come on, get with it. If I'm you, then that means you can't kill me, as she tries to use one of her force field attacks on the Maker and Kang. But Nick Fury sees an opening and says, Commandos, take them down. But the Maker also is ready for battle and he says, Hulk, Quicksilver, here, now. As they both get teleported in, the Hulk is ready for battle. But the Maker realises something. Pietro? Dead? How? 
ultimate thing tries to go in for a punch on the maker and says, you got bigger problems, pal. But the Hulk saves the maker and grabs onto the ultimate thing and shouts, Hulk smash purple rock man. The maker tries calling in reinforcements and says, all Herbatrons to Alpha 1 command level. But Iron Man prevents this and says, all Herbatrons self-destruct. In the maker's frustration, Iron Man says, what? You're trying to kill us. As the maker sees Iron Man and shouts, there is no try. But Iron Man blasts him and says, you are such a nerd. As the battle continues between the heroes and the villains, Iron Man says, Fury, down 20 levels from here, a factory making these stupid robots. Take your guys and trash it. And then we see Fury say, Commandos, let's go. But we also see Kang fighting Sue as she says, I can't kill you, but I can sure as hell hurt you. As Sue says, how? How did I become a monster? Not a monster, a saviour, says Kang. Then let us help you. You can't. You help and the universe ends as they're both having a force field battle. And while this is going down, Dark Ultimate's Hulk is fighting Ultimate Thing and he shouts, fall down. But the Thing with his brave heart says, punch harder then. And as the situation goes from bad to worse, Johnny Storm, who is under mind control, steps into the battlefield. And Kang says, Ah, good. Reinforcements. Thank you, baby brother. And as Ultimate Storm looks shocked, she shouts for Johnny. As Ultimate Thing is trying to get out of a headlock, he witnesses Johnny Storm fighting his sister. And he says, I'm coming to help you, Susie. As Susan is using her force fields to hold her brother back, she says she don't need it. As Kang has one of the Infinity Stones in her possession, she says to Reed, Reed, throw me the gauntlets. No, throw me the gem, Sue. And Iron Man says, yeah, that's not going to happen. You can't do this, Reed. I've told you, only I can... Give me that damn stone, says Susan Storm, as she knocks Kang out of the way, and then Captain America comes in and says, I got it. And the Maker shouts in his frustration, No, I need it. With the Infinity Stone in hand, Captain America lands in a bunch of Herbatrons, and Thor tries to come in and save him, and he says, Captain, as he's fighting them off, no good without my harness. I'm not strong enough. And then Iron Man says, Ah, about that. Look what I can do. As one of the Herbatron's metal and wires start to devour Thor, he says, With a little of Reed's future tech, and some you know how, Thor is shocked and wondering, What is the meaning of this? And then he realises, All of that technology that's wrapping around him is making a new Mjolnir and armour for him. As soon as Ultimate Thor gets his upgrade, a giant storm ensues and blows up every ship in the sky and sets off all the lights. And some of the team members are like, Stark, what the hell was that? And he responds with, we've got a thunder god again. Thor is back at full power. Where's the Herbatron factory you said? Uh, just a few more feet away Chang, just get ready. We have a little funny moment here. So Monica Chang decides to go take point to see what's in the other room. She looks in the other room, right? And then she just comes out of that room looking shocked, saying, uh, castle? And then he's like, fun time? Yeah, I, I, I'd i say so, especially what's in the next room. And then Hercules is like, unfair, the son of Zeus wants to have fun. As Punisher says, shut it. Giant woman's like, this is going to be bad. Frank, listen. Quiet, Ketch. Enough of you. By the way, Danny Ketch in the Ultimate Universe is not Ghost Rider. And he's like, I'm just saying, there's enough to go around. 
This is probably the best moment Ultimate Punisher and Hercules ever got in the Ultimate Universe. So both of them walk into the Herbatron factory ready for battle. And then Frank Castle's like, hey Hercules. Yes Frank? The first one to 3000 kills wins. And, and Hercules is like, verily. But, but hold on, Falcon hears that right? And he says... You guys are all such wusses and it gets ready to start fighting. But that's not all folks. We go back to Ultimate Thor with his new upgraded hammer and armor. And I have got to say, Dan Yoon at the Marvel Legends team, please can we get this as a Marvel Legend? I would love this on my shelf. With all the energy flowing through him, Thor says, if Odin's rage isn't enough to stop them, then Thor's will have to do. Let's see what this hammer can really do. As Captain America says, Thor, a little help over here? On my way, Captain. Before Thor even gets to swig his hammer, all of the Herbatrods get headshotted by blind Hawkeye. And he says, yeah, I got them. Even in blind. As we see Captain America shout, heads up Hawkeye, ugly rock monster coming in as we see Ultimate Thing in his purple form being thrown at Hawkeye by Ultimate Hulk, and he says, I couldn't transform in time. And another badass moment from one of my favourite characters. Dark Ultimate Hulk is ready for battle, outnumbered, and running towards the heroes, and he says, come on, let's go, all of you. And then we see the heroes look at him and say, I like these odds. Aye, let's do it. True that. And as we see Ultimate Thing transform into his rocky form, he says, hey Hulky, it's clobber in time. The battle between the Ultimates and the Dark Ultimates is on, but we see Susan Storm with her brother. And he says, Sue, where, where am I? You're alive, Johnny. Can you fight? And he says, hell yes. And as we see all of the heroes try to fight the Hulk, we see Kang trying to tell the Maker, listen to me, Reed. We don't have time. It's coming. No, I'm the only one who can handle this. If you use the gauntlets, everyone dies. Come on, Reed. She's right. You're way too stupid to handle them. Go to hell, Stark. And as we see the Maker try to elongate his tongue and tries to grab all of the stones, he says, you're making me do this. Read, only seconds left, please. As we see a massive fiery explosion happen caused by Johnny Storm. Ultimate Johnny Storm says, hey jerk, nobody lays a finger on my sister. Gem's coming your way, Stark. And he says, got it. Thanks, kid. First things first, Gems. As Iron Man puts all of the Infinity Stones into his Iron Man body, Iron Man resurrects his human form and says, great, now body. Wakey, wakey, hands off shaky. And then we see Iron Man come back to life as Tony Stark again. And he takes a big grasp for air. And then we see the armor and the Infinity Stones wrap around his resurrected body and says, Armor, now. And now that Ultimate Iron Man is back at 100% again, he says, Reed Richards, you're done. As the resurrected Ultimate Iron Man is looking at the Maker and Kang, he says, Huh? What's up with the weird energy spike? And because that Iron Man used the Infinity Stones, he sees and everyone sees visions of themselves from different universes. We see the classic Avengers, Fantastic Four, Thor as well. And then he's like, oh crap. What's, what the hell is happening? I can feel my insides are being ripped out as all of the heroes are struggling to understand what they're seeing and what's going on. And then Ultimate Kang reveals, no, it's too late. We failed. And then the Maker says, no, 
We can fix this. The gauntlets are useless. Iron Man's wondering, what the hell? They're shattering. As Kang tells him, I have to go back further. I have to try again. Have to make things right. Have to save the future. Susan, if you stay with Ben Grimm, the world is doomed. Understand this. Your destiny lies with Reed. I hope you all fare better than we did. Goodbye, Ultimates. And then we see Ultimate Kang teleport away. And the Maker says, Alpha One, power down. It's over. The Ultimate Howling Commandos still shocked to see what's happened. And we see all of them have a say. F Fury wonders, what's going on? Ket says, I think we just won. Go us, says Giant Woman, as we see all of the Herbatrons are powering down. Her ultimate Hercules says, Tonight, we feast upon the flesh of animals and the bodies of women. Well, if you're into that. Iron Man walks up to the defeated Maker, as he is saying, All dead, so many dead, so many dead. As Iron Man responds, Oh, so now you care? You don't understand that. Energy flux was just the beginning. As Iron Man says, The beginning of what? The end of the universe. It's breaking apart. You've doomed us all, Tony Stark. In the next page, we go to the next day at Alpha 1 and we could see that S.H.I.E.L.D. is taking over the Maker's facilities and we see Monica Chang in Fury as he asks Now what, Director Chang? We rebuild, Nick. You know, he did make things better. As Monica Chang responds, so Reed Richards was your kind of dictator? No, Monica. In a couple of days, he did more good than we've ever done in 10 years. He was a genocidal maniac and he's where he needs to be, Nick. I need you to be to do the same. You and your team are leaving for Europe at 0800 hours. Hmm? European vacation? Europe is in chaos and what's left of Captain, the Captain program needs our help getting back under control. Whatever's coming, we can handle it. I promise you. As Nick Fury says, I know. We'll survive, Nick. As we see in the next page, we go to the cube in the superhuman holding facility. We see the Maker without his helmet and in his ultimate Fantastic Four suit. But someone's come to see him. And she says, Hello, Reed. We find out that this person is ultimate Susan Storm and she says we need to talk and he replies you'll understand Susan soon you'll understand I'll never understand the things you did Reed you could have done so much made the world a better place hell you did it but how you did it but that's not why I'm here and the maker asks You've detected an anomaly? Yes. In the furthest reaches of space, something I thought was the Galactus Swarm at first, but it's something else. Bigger. More power. It's heading this way, Reed. It sent us a message. One single word. And the Maker asks, what word? And that word to end off the story is hunger. And yes, people, 616 Galactus has made his way to the Ultimate Universe. And we will see that story continue in Ultimate Cataclysm. So let's give our review on the Dark Ultimates run. So this is Ultimate Comics The Ultimates Disassembled from issue 25 to issue 30. And I have got to say, it is by far one of my favourite runs of all time in the Ultimate Universe. 
I would say this is definitely the top three of my ultimate comics stories for the ultimates. For me, it's the first ultimate story, Ultimates 1. And then I've got to give it to Jonathan Hickman's Ultimates. And then I've got to give it to the Dark Ultimates. And then it's Ultimates 2 for me. And I'm not talking about 3. So, for me, I love this. Another thing that I really like about the Dark Ultimates is... They didn't just portray them as your generic hero. They have motivations throughout this entire story. Like, Pietro, before he got killed off, was really trying to bring his sister back and tried to find a, a haven for mutants. But that wasn't all that Ultimate Kang told him because she tried to get rid of all of the Ultimate Mutants and the Maker just wanted to be in control of a brand new universe. But they all had the same goal in mind and that was trying to make a better world for them to all live in but unfortunately their hubris got to the better of them as we see in the ending of the story another thing as well we get to see loads of characters so we get the dark ultimates the ultimates bits of the fantastic four and the howling commandos and in those howling or the ultimate howling commandos we've got ultimate nick fury ultimate frank castle the punisher ultimate denny or danny catch the ghost who spits out fire and we've also got ultimate giant woman ultimate who else was the ultimate giant woman and ultimate hercules who were absolute badasses throughout this even though they were probably the, like they didn't really show up very often but when they did show up they were doing something like they were fighting or they were out here trying to destroy shit or they were still out here fighting so for me seeing multiple characters in here and even some like um unique twists so another thing that i really love and that i'm hoping we get a marvel legends figure of is dark ultimate hulk so i love that jumpsuit the, the, the gray skin and the green maker jumpsuit yes please marvel legends can we get a figure of that and of ultimate thor upgraded actually in fact can we get more ultimate universe figures in general because we ain't got a lot like i've got so many ross clark spider-man figures we've got so many mcu figures we've got 2099 figures we've got different universes except ultimate marvel except the ultimate can you believe it marvel legends have not released an ultimate hulk figure or an old or an ultimate reed richards figure we ain't got a maker figure yet we ain't got that but we need that but anyway i would definitely say if you have not read this story and if you've just been reading the or been watching the videos i'd highly recommend go picking this up because it's a fun little story, you get some ultimate universe lore, and it also explains its place in the multiverse of Marvel as well. And it's not just the ending, this is the stepping point towards Secret Wars 2015, where the ultimate universe would eventually get destroyed. So this is the first stepping stone. Everybody talks about Cataclysm, but they never talk about the Dark Ultimates. Like, look, like, go out there. Loads of people talk about Cataclysm was like when Galactus came. But they don't actually talk about the story before that. Which was the, the stepping stone to Cataclysm as well. So, hopefully this story actually does get some limelight. Because this, come, like, this run came out when the reader base was pretty much gone. Um, no, if not a lot of people actually know that and I, I don't blame them because by the time this story came out the reader base wasn't there Ultimate 3 and Ultimatum was not getting retconned and they just wanted to stick with it which was a very stupid uh, dis decision Marvel and um, basically they tried to reboot the Ultimate Universe with like Ultimate Marvel now and then we had like Ultimate um future foundation but this was actually one of the few last good stories to come out of the ultimate universe in its last phase like i mean the last good comics i would probably say and even though i don't even like miles i would say it was probably jonathan hickman's run which is like one story 
or two stories before this because there is united we stand divided we fall that sucks um yeah so i'm not a big fan of that one and then it's like old dark ultimates and before those two it's jonathan hickman's and i understand yeah by that time like everyone was gone but like we did have miles morales spider-man we'd had bits of the ultimates and honestly i don't think there was any good comics after that i am gonna be a hundred percent with you don't get interested in this cataclysm that's good that's very good but anything else besides the ultimates and cataclysm and ultimate spider-man in like the last phase of the ultimate universe sucked like i'm telling you like there was mouse pork hamis so yes there was a universe where like animal versions of the ultimate universe came and miles morales was a pig and hulk was a giant green rage bunny that actually sounds kind of fun. I can't even lie. It kind of, kind of sounds fun. But it wasn't. It really wasn't. So if I was to give the Dark Ultimates a rating. I would give it a solid 9. Like it's damn near perfect. Nearly. But you guys remember all those issues I spoke about. And that was when old Dark Ultimates Hulk was wielding Ultimate Mjolnir. To defeat Ultimate Thor. Automatic L. The reason I give that an L is because we did not get to see that defeat on page or panel. We only got to see the aftermath of that violation. I got to take a point away from that. But for me, it is a 9. I love this issue, this run. I could go back to this run multiple times and be like, yo. Remember when I bought this run? I'm so glad I bought this run. But anyway, folks, I've given my review of the Dark Ultimates. I've also done the Dark Ultimates line. Now it's time for you to let me know what you guys think of it. Do What do you want next? Um, I've got Ultimate Invasion issue number two tonight. But what other Ultimate story do you want? Do you want me to continue with Cataclysm? Or would you like me to do another Ultimate Universe story? So also it cannot be Ultimate Spider-Man because we're doing Ultimate Spider-Man. So something we're not doing at the moment. Um, we can continue with the rest of the Ultimates. Because I still need to finish Ultimates 1. Or we can move on to like something a little bit something a little bit more fun. Perhaps, maybe perhaps say Ultimate Wolverine versus Hulk. Perhaps. You know what to do in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching this video and the Dark Ultimate series and of course all of your continued support on the channel i create or i make content surrounding the ultimate universe and the upcoming series of ultimate invasion and the one shot of ultimate universe coming later this year where i do breakdowns theories speculations and we also do other comics as well surrounding the ultimate universe and i'm also going to be uploading content surrounding marvel bits of the mcu if you guys are like that as well where I also talk about the stuff in Hollywood. But thank you very much for watching this video and this series. And I can't wait to see you guys again. Make sure you drop a like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Take care.